locals have been mining uh, alluvial gold that came down through water erosion and land erosion. We're up high in the uh, on our gold bridge looking for the hard rock sources of that alluvial placer gold uh, in the Barim River and in the old floodplain at the base. So locals are mining that. We were looking for the hard rock source. We started in, you know, like I said, in 2011 with those 200 plus drill holes, uh, the maiden resource. And we went to the locals, uh, I went to them and we contracted six of the big miners to monetize that asset to see if we could generate some cash flow. Um, so that was fairly unique for um, a foreign gold explorer to do that. The only one that I've known that's seen it done success or done that, and it generates four to five million of free cash flow for us. Um, so we use that to plow back into the expiration. So it's fairly material, and uh, we were fortunate to have this, you know, big alluvial deposit, or not 43111 compliant, but historical deposit at the base of our gold bridge, and so. The Africans, local or local contractors, we call that community mining. They're down there working hard, and we're up finding the sources, and we're pl- employing uh, hundreds of uh, local Ghanaians. So the government's happy with us, and uh, we're up there building the hard rock source that will be bring uh, future jobs to uh, to Ghana also, and a lot of revenue and taxes for the government. So that that's why we're fairly unique, is because we don't need any outside financing. And is that the number for four to five million? Is that Canadian or U.S. dollars uh, free cash? I'm giving you all U.S. numbers. 